Good afternoon, everyone. As many of you all know that follow me on here and on Instagram as well, as well as Facebook, know that I've had a uh, fake Raptor grill on my truck for a couple of months now. Our good friends over at Freedom Retrofit supplied us with this. He's got more for sale if anybody wants them. These honestly look very good, uh, you know, but me, I want to have the, the genuine Ford parts. So, you know, about twice as much for a genuine Ford Raptor grill. So as you can see here, the top one on the screen or the one on the left here is actually a genuine Ford part. The one on the right is the uh, knockoff grill. So anyway, like I said, depends on what your budget is. Uh, you know, the casual observer, they may not notice the difference, but those two are true enthusiasts will probably know the difference in the lettering. That's basically the only difference between the two is the lettering, the size of the lettering of the FORD. So anyway, I uh, just want to kind of walk you guys through this. Putting these on is not a direct swap. Uh, there is an issue with the back plastic plate you can see right here. Uh, on the factory Bronco grill, and it, here's one for the Raptor that you can order. It's on back order right now. So you can see right here, see these, where it's raised right here, you have to cut that all the way across and make that completely level. So that's a lot of cutting. I used a Dremel, might be better to use a circular saw. Uh, you'll see in a picture here in just a second to where the finished product, but yeah, that was pretty uh, pretty intense. And you always have to trim, also, also need to trim about a quarter inch off the very bottom edge of it, which I did as well. Uh, you'll see that here in just a second as well get it all to fit so there's a lot of cutting so just know that ahead of time all right for the lights you can see my failed attempt earlier with some super glue i got that residue out it doesn't look showing bad but i found these lights now granted they're not the most ideal shape they're pretty perfectly rectangles but the holes are the only ones i could find on ebay they're the exact length apart so until ford gets the lights for these that you can buy buy these these are like 20 bucks for a set of three now i did take a 1 8 drill bit to widen these holes carefully widen these holes out a little bit start out at low speed and just work your way up and they will fit exactly on these little nubs right here so see you can see the focusing on this thing is not always the greatest but there we go you see the right little nub you wedge them out pretty good and they won't move so that's what we're going with likewise like I said, until Ford gets out the ones that actually fit. And then it's a Raptor grill, as you can see. Lots are tucked in there. Now these are the smoke lens. You could probably get yellow lens. It might look more like a true Raptor. I like the smoke lens with the yellow light. That's my thing, my thing. So anyway, to each their own. I'll leave a link below on the lights and get that going. All right, so we did trim quite a bit along this lower edge on the far side, as you'll see. The wire's all set up. Hopefully this thing will fit on there right this time. It's always a little, has a hard time with those sliding things, things in, so fingers crossed. All right, I hope you guys like and enjoy this video. Uh, you know, like I said before, the uh, knockoff grill is about half the price of a genuine Ford grill. Just know that, like I said before, this is not a direct swap. So as you can see, we'd had to do a lot of trimming. I did reach out to some people, uh, Vince Karoki, I hope I'm pronouncing the name right on Instagram. They sell these grills. Uh, they modify them and sell them, uh, but they had the same issues I do uh, as far as those brackets being on back order. The actual Raptor lights that come with the genuine Raptor grill, the Ford also has those on back order, but I also heard those are supposed to be pretty expensive. So, you know, you know, just kind of do what you feel that's right on that. If you want to wait, that's fine. I didn't want to wait. You know, I got it. I want it on it. Didn't want to wait. It looks perfect. You can't tell it when it's on. Now, if I took the grill off and pulled out, yeah, you could obviously see, see the modifications. Uh, I'll put links to the lights I bought. You have to make sure that they are 1.96 inches apart from the two holes. And on the eBay listings, it'll show you that. But most of them on eBay are not wide enough. So, Make sure you pay attention to that. Use that one-inch drill just wide about just a hair a bit, so that way you can slide them on there and get them good and snug. Uh, other than that, they should work fine. You know, I, my preference is to have the smoke lens with the amber light. They also sell them with a smoke lens with a clear light. If you'd want to go that route, uh, if you want to be a little different, uh, you know, and you know, just know that you know I'm not trying to pass off my Bronco as a Raptor or a Raptor. 
uh, that's not the intent here. You know, I know a lot of people give me hate, you know, so whatever, you know, just do whatever you want with your vehicles. Uh, who cares? You know, in the four runner community, everybody bought TRD pro grills. When I used to be in the five liter Mustangs, the Fox body Mustangs way back in the day, everybody had flow masters exhaust. Everybody wanted to get those saline spoilers, rear spoilers. Not that they were trying to pass them off for a saline or not that the four runner guys are trying to pass themselves off as a TRD pro. It's just, everybody likes that look. So, uh, you know, do what you want to do and the hell with everybody else. It's my, always my model. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We got a lot more to come. So please like and subscribe, hit that alert button. Uh, we're over a thousand subscribers now, so I can't uh, express enough how much I appreciate all of you all who have uh, subscribed. Uh, you know, and uh, we're on the verge of monetizing, so that way we can, you know, put that money back in the channel. This is not my full-time job. I will not be starting a Patreon. I will not be asking you guys to donate money. Uh, you know, but if you just watch the videos, what little revenue we get off that, little revenue we get off the affiliate programs, uh, we will reinvest back into the truck and back into the channel, so that way we can provide, provide more content for you guys to enjoy. Uh, if you have any suggestions or any requests, feel free to shoot me a you know a direct message either on Instagram, Facebook, uh, you know, in the comments below. Like I said, just please keep it constructive and please be gentle. Uh, so uh, anyway, looking forward to bringing you guys more stuff. Hope you guys like it. Take it easy.